Hi Pisces, welcome to your love connection for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You definitely do have to know each other. Don't necessarily have to be together. So we'll see what we get for your connection here. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching. Please only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not making sense for you, then it's not your reading. So I would say hold off for future readings or watch past readings. And uh, this can be past, present, or future also. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe during this time. <clears throat> so Pisces, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. And see what kind of energy may be around you at this time in love. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Just a little extra bonus. <clears throat> so Pisces... Let's see what is going on for you, Pisces, in love at this time. And you can check the description box below. Plenty of things down there. Uh, how to book a personal reading. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift. Um, decks I'm using. Social media. Um, all your playlists are down there, too. Love in general. <coughs> so please do go check that out. As well as pin to the top comment. You'll find a lot of information. So... Pisces, let's get some energy for you. Pisces, in love, spirit, please. I'm feeling that one already. Just wanted to fly. Capricorn. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Capricorn in the tarot, though, in the major arcana, does represent the devil energy, which can be about um, fear, anxiety, stress, worry, low self-esteem, negative thinking, um, obsessions, obsessions, um, that kind of energy, addictions, I meant to say, obsessions or addictions or a very strong uh, sexual connection with somebody. And my cat's going cuckoo, I just gave him catnip. So if you hear that <laughs> scuttering and running around, that's my cat. Okay, so Pisces, first thing here is let's get an opening love energy between you and your person whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading spirit please for pisces what is the love oh there we go well we got your energy my uh pisces i meant to say the moon and pisces at the same time and it came out myces <laughs> oh, so we have the moon energy here 32 which is five which is about change we do have the eight of cups energy which can be about walking away from something. So 32. So let's see what the moon has to say. I just like to read the little riddle here. It's kind of cute. So it says love and romance, intuition and psychic abilities, imagination and creativity are a are but a few of the ideas I stand for. I reach across the sky and influence the waters, I am admired all around. I bring fame. I bring honors. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, the moon, again, like I said, listening to gut intuition, deep feelings. It's feminine energy. Um, it can be about cycles and changes, which the 32.5, which is about changes. And you see the moon, how it's changing uh, cycles and phases. Intuition. But that Eight of Cups energy can be about walking away from something. Could be so, from something toxic if you're not dealing with the Capricorn. All right, so Pisces, what I'm gonna do next here <clears throat> is I will put your energy here, your person's energy there. I will pull one, how you are both feeling about each other in the connection. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Look at the actual situation, the love connection advice, possible outcome, and then we'll pull some whispers of love at the end. So let's see, Pisces, if you feel like any time during this reading you need to switch and reverse the energies, please feel free to do that. Not every single part may resonate, so please keep that in mind. So let's see how you are feeling about your person in the connection. How is Pisces person feeling about them in the connection? And then we'll do the bottom of the deck. Oh, we have the broom here. So they're feeling like they need to clean something up here. We do have 11, which is two, which is about some, some kind of union. And we do have the uh, Jack of Wands, 
the Knight of Wands can sometimes be an in and out player kind of energy, or a fiery, passionate energy. That can be Leo. And then your person here has the clouds here, uh, six. It's a very healing, balancing number. And then we do have the King of Clubs, King of Wands, can be Sagittarius. So you person could be Sagittarius. <coughs> we have two energies of fire here. It looks like storm clouds, but let's read your energy first with the broom energy here, which is birch broom. Be warned of high temper. I bring conflict and strife. You will find me in comp competitions because I work with repetition. Arguments and quarrels are my patent, but I am not always a villain. I can be found in the gym or in a lusty bed on a whim. Hmm. So somebody here could have a bad temper, either you or your person, or there just could be a lot of fighting, arguing, quarreling, not seeing eye to eye, which brings up tempers in the two of you. It gets very fiery and passionate, I feel, between the two of you. This could have been a soulmate union at one time. I think I've been getting this a lot for your readings lately, Pisces. So let's see. Um, your person has six here, which is clouds. I am dark on one side and light on the other. Conflicts and doubts I am sure to bring. You will not be able to see clearly. I will look. I will block your perception and let confusion reign. One thing I promise for sure is that I will pass because the sun always shines after the storm has passed. So I feel like maybe it's just a repeating cycle here where, because you see eight there is about infinity if you turn it sideways. So this could be an energy where it like is very re repetitive situation where there's fight, there's arguments, there's making up, there's healing. The sun comes back out, but then there's fighting and arguing again. And it just goes on and on and on, like the cycles of the moon. Energy, somebody here I feel like is making a change. Finally, maybe walking away from that toxic pattern between the two of you. You or them, somebody here. But we do have the sun here, which could be Leo energy. And we have to do 31, 4, which is about stability. And we do have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new stable beginning. Um growth, abundance, prosperity for the long term. And the sun does represent, you know, healing and all that kind of energy. But let's see what the sun, I opened it right to it. I am success, hear me roar. I control your ego and charisma. I boost your confidence and courage. I bring victory and glory. But be careful not to get too cocky or you will be burned by arrogance, like Arrakis. I don't know who that is, but... So, and it does say here that, you know, the clouds come out and then, you know, there's clouds and, but then the sun comes out. But then I feel like, you know, I feel, I do feel like an energy of a repetitive cycle over and over and over where there's, you know, sun healing, ace of pentacles is like starting over fresh, but then it kind of falls back into the same toxic pattern over and over. So, or, you know, maybe it's healing these toxic patterns, especially with the sun energy there. And having a new stable beginning, a new uh, foundation. So we'll see. Clarifying with the tarot here. You know, the Eight of Cups energy here can be walking away, leaving, not necessarily walking away, but like leaving those toxic, pa toxic patterns behind, like walking away from that energy and walking into new energy. So we'll see. We're going to clarify this energy here for you, Pisces. All right. So what's going on here, Pisces? So you have the birch broom, Pisces. So that's too many for Pisces. Let's get a couple for your energy for Pisces. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Or Pisces, please. Why does Pisces have the birch broom? I'm feeling this one and the top one. <clears throat> the seven of swords, the four of cups. So the seven of swords energy can be the energy of sneaking away or just getting out of a situation. No matter how you do it, just got to get out and get away. Sneak away can also be about theft and, um, you know, not a good energy. But the Four of Cups here is about boredom, 
complacency energy here. So I feel, I feel like maybe, you know, this, it, it's just got boring to you. Like the same pattern over and over is like, okay. Cause that could be an energy of getting ready to sneak out of a situation and just walk away from it. So I feel like, you know, in that four of cups kind of, like I said, bored, complacent, um, usually, you know, contemplating a love offer or waiting for a love offer, unsure about a love offer or just feeling very bored and complacent. And like, ugh, I just got to get out of this. It's time to clean up, clean up, walk away from this repetitive toxic cycle, I feel. But let's see what, what does your past person now? They got the four of pentacles. So they're an energy also two fours here. Fours are about usually stability, but the four of pentacles is like hold, like not really giving to anything either. So I feel like they don't want to give kind of like to this uh, energy anymore either of this repetitive toxic pattern. All right, so let's get one more for your person. The hangman. There's your energy, Pisces. So <laughs> this is, you know, stagnant energy. Stagnant energy, no movement. The hangman. But it's also about enlightenment and gaining new perspectives. So definitely they're in an energy of holding back, being kind of stuck suspended kind of energy oh. like not wanting to give into the storm anymore and you see like enlightened his head is enlightened like the sun so thinking of a new healing solution maybe I don't know let's see so let's look at the actual situation what's going on for you here Pisces two of rods so being at a crossroads needing to make a decision it's coming under your energy this 11 is two here two here so I feel like you're at a crossroads thinking you're like you're looking out beyond where you are like okay um, like how do I get out of this <laughs> that's kind of what I'm feeling it's like I don't want to be here anymore one more for Pisces but you do have the soulmate union there. So I did feel like <clears throat> this was a soulmate union at one time. But your back is turned to the soulmate union. And I get this <laughs> look of like you looking at your person just like rolling your eyes. <laughs> kind of, And they're looking at you like, really? So I don't know. Let's see. Let's get a few more here for the actual situation between Pisces, money, and their person, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Knight of Cups. So this could be apologies, um, but then this energy is also moving away from this Two of Cups. And looking at that cup like, yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But here's my apology anyway. It could be a peaceful resolution and an apology between the two of you. Again, I feel like it's not a king. It's like, you know, just coming forward with an apology or, you know, the peaceful resolution. So let's get two, two, be a person, three of cups. So it's about reuniting, celebrating. In the four of swords so yeah so i feel like <clears throat> i feel like between the two of you there's always like apologies or peaceful resolution like reuniting coming back together but then energy here of especially in their side okay resting recuperating rejuvenating from like this energy of maybe fighting arguing quarreling making up being good for a while and it starts all over again so it's like a repeating phase, resting. And I feel like you here are just looking out like away from the two of cups here. Like I am so done with this energy, but let's see. I could be wrong. I mean, we do have soulmate union here and moving forward in love and reuniting, coming back together after healing, healing over here. 
you know, maybe at a crossroads and finally choosing soulmate union here. But all this energy up here, that's not what I'm feeling. But however, it resonates for you. Some of you may, you know, work this out. Some may not. So let's see what the advice here is. Ten of rods. <laughs> wow. So that's laying down the heavy burden, coming to a completion, ending justice. So some of you may end up in separation or divorce here. King of rods could be from a fire sign. So we do have... Um, this Knight of Cups over here could be Scorpio, doesn't have to be. Justice is Libra. King of Rods here could be Sagittarius again, which we had up here. That's double confirmation. <clears throat> but, you know, this could be laying down the burdens of finally bringing truth and justice, clarity into this connection. So for the two separate stories I'm getting, somebody needs to lay down the heavy burdens and just bring truth and clarity and balance out the scales and have justice in this connection come forward a lot of fire passion determination some of you definitely could be ending something here with a fire sign that could lead to separation divorce or something and something like that all right so one more queen of pentacles energy here so that could be capricorn <clears throat> again the head is turned back is turned to this energy I feel like some of you are going to leave this situation. Could be leaving a fire sign and go off in your own, even though you're a Pisces. Queen of Pentacles kind of reminds me of the Empress energy. So knowing your value, your worth, um, being stable and grounded in your own right and moving away from that energy because your back is turned. Like these two, they're not even facing each other. They're not even seeing eye to eye kind of energy what I'm feeling with that oh boy so I don't know let's pull a couple more for this advice so some of you I mean I'm not telling anyone to get divorced or get separated but you have to do what's best for you whatever burdens you feel like are too heavy for you to carry anymore this is giving yourself justice giving each other justice you know, it could be from fire sign or it could be, you know, being very fiery, passionate, and determined energy, knowing your value and your worth kind of energy also. So let's get a couple more just to clarify. Are there any other messages for this advice? For Pisces, please. Thank you so much. For Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. And I just laid it right on the Ten of Rods. So some of my, some people here are laying down heavy burdens of possible long-term commitment and marriage. And we do have the nine of rods in reverse. So this is about the wounded warrior, you know, fighting and moving on, but in reverse, no longer fighting for a situation. Yeah, so I feel some here, um, <laughs> Ace of Swords, Truth and Clarity, Open, Honest, Truthful Communication. This is about, you know, Victoria's New Beginning. But this to me is always like divine energy coming in with the truth and clarity of the matter saying this is the truth of the matter so for some of you i do see not giving or fighting this vicious circle anymore finally uh just leaving it <coughs> doing what's best for you some may heal it work it out and stay together so however that resonates for you so let's get possible um outcome outcome here for you Pisces. Something just flipped. Nine of Cups. So nines are always um, solo energy for me. But the nine here can be about wish fulfillment, wishes and dreams coming true, happiness, joy kind of energy. So why is that here for your possible outcome for Pisces? Yeah, moving away from this energy to a more comfortable, peaceful place, leaving energy behind. And you see this person is alone and someone is just transporting her to this better place. So I feel like, and that could be uh, your, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. That could be spirit energy 
That could be a friend, a family member, helping you out of a situation, going to a more comfortable, peaceful place kind of energy. One more for Pisces. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. So some of you definitely are leaving the situation. Or this is about, you know, leaving something out in the cold, leaving it behind, neglect, abandonment, that kind of energy. So I definitely feel like some of you will be leaving somebody. You see two energies going in two totally separate directions. Maybe a couple here splitting up and going to other people. Because I see two people going that way, two people going that way. For some of you. But some some people here are definitely uh, moving out of a situation and going to a better place. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the King of Cups energy. That's your energy. So we are talking about you, Pisces. Ten of Cups. I feel like you're going after your own Ten of Cups here of self-fulfillment, um, happiness and joy in your own right. The Ten of Cups energy. Because there was too much conflict with somebody who could have been controlling or in charge of everything here with the Emperor. Could be Aries energy. Or this is you taking control of your own destiny and fate. Because we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Divine Timing, Fate, Destiny, things getting in a bit, going in a better direction. Um, things just getting and going better for you. <coughs> so I feel like things getting better. Once you take control of the situation and uh, leave behind all this bickering and arguing and head in the direction of your own healing and your own Ten of Cups of Fulfillment. And we are talking about you with the King of Cups energy. Pisces. So, wow. Okay, Pisces. So, oh, I do see here somebody finally just leaving this toxic circle, cycle, Finally had enough, leaving it behind, walking away and going on their quest for their own self-fulfillment, happiness, joy, independent energy, going to a better place. All right. Pisces, going on quest for their own stable new beginning and healing and victory. All right, Pisces. I do ask Pisces if you like my energy style and how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. And I am bringing back the spirit messages reading and also the singles reading, as well as keeping one love, one general in the bonus. So if you're interested in all that, subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So what do we have for Pisces? Extra messages here for Pisces. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. And right, you're changing your life here. 35, 8, again, with that 8 down there about travel, action, movement. So, I mean, speak the language of love can also be doing this in a loving, compassionate, peaceful um, energy. Not in a bad energy. And you're changing your trajectory and going on your own journey here, I feel. We have 22 here, the heart of the matter. There's more going on that meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. Exactly. This is recognizing this toxic cycle going around and around and around. Instead of staying still and stagnant, no one doing anything. Finally, people are doing what's best for them. 22 here. Double two. Um... Twos are usually about unity, but added together, four is on the quest for your own uh, stability here. All right, Pisces. And we have five here, again, about change. Show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. Again, doing this in a kind, peaceful, compassionate energy, not in a like a nasty way, I feel. But just doing what's best. And we have love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has to offer. Eight, again, another eight confirming, wow, about travel action kind of energy. Communication. So loving who you are, knowing what's best for you, doing what's best for you, and doing it in, from a kind, uh, compassionate place. But yet, 
moving on, I feel. I feel like you're moving on, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And the flame just went out. So I definitely feel like here the flame went out in this connection. Um, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.